So we know he can fire off individually as well and have great games. So let's see if this NIP can put up a little bit more of a battle yesterday after getting brutally destroyed by Vitality. They don't want to face the same fate versus Na'Vi, but Na'Vi have been up and down, left and right, in pretty much every direction you can predict. So you never know what to think with this team. Simple though, he is the one consistent factor, the one man that just never stops for Na'Vi. And he'll be the solo man on A right now, spotting mid, seeing nothing. It's a late play for NIP, and Simple doesn't realize, but NIP are all the way up long. Do they divert to the toilet or commit to the site? Because if they do, they could bypass him. But Simple, he knows the timings, he knows he's got to be aware, and he will run right back. Electronic already rotating up, and Simple's got to be careful from this long position. He's spotted one. Does he know there's a player tucked on the left side? Oh, now he does. Info's there. Electronic's here to play, and he will find the first blood. Looking for a little bit more, but Twist will come in with the trade. And now Simple, Ooh. only good for one before he gets bested. We're into this three on three almost immediately. And Na'Vi. On for the retake here at this A bomb site. They have the kit double flash. Boomish can set that up from CT spawn. There's no flank coming in either. So NIP need to have their wits about them. Toilet part, oh, truck part rather, not even a toilet part, that's a bit of a problem, it means NIP need to stay in the site, but they've already got a crossfire to kill one, the trays are immediate though, and immaculate at that, Na'Vi, they've got to find the kit, where is the kit, doesn't matter, they're going to stick it with 10, uh, Flamey can go down lower and get the kit on the stairs, that's where Boomish dropped it. Hopefully that gets communicated along for Na'Vi and luckily not an issue. The defuse is in and that's sometimes why you want the, the toilets plant as opposed to the truck plant for NIP. Uh, so you can actually fall back and, and then pick a safer position like the toilets, like the divider and fire off shots from there. Obviously the danger of that is the flank. If Na'Vi come up connector, they can really make things annoying in the back line and NIP didn't know it was a full CT retake. So pissed around going the way of Na'Vi, but a bomb plant giving guns to NIP. And this is a hell of a second round buy, if I, if I say so myself. Three AKs stacked with utility, two Deagles, Na'Vi, nowhere near the level of investment that NIP have here, considering they lost that previous round. We got two Famuses, some MP9s, and a shotgun. Let's see what old mate Simple can do with this SM then. Down here in the connector, he'll put up the first. And the mere sound of this shotgun has sent <laughs> Plopski back into the connector. So he's going to look for a ways out. However, actually deciding to stick around just a bit with the smoke down in the door. He's only left one angle for Simple and they molly him down, trying to get a peek onto him. Trying to isolate this fight while they've got him trapped, but he's not budging. Yeah, the issue is, like, you know, you, you still got to push him to the stairwell. You still got to push him to the close position and simple. He's got a shotgun. He's got the gun for the job. And he is ready and waiting for you to come his way. These three rifles hunting him down. And maybe they'll come to regret that. That is brutality. And you understand why NIP want to get simple out of that position, right? They know he's in the connector. Regardless of what side they hit, he can fast rotate and, and be in the back line. So they need to rid the man out of that position. But... Oh dear, Kropsky getting hounded down will get one. And Simple, he's grabbed himself an AK. He's looking for a little bit more. No one pushing for Na'Vi. They're just going to hold onto the bomb here in Connector. And honestly, it's just a save for Propsky. He should be able to get away with things unless Na'Vi come up that ladder. That is not the round that NIP wanted considering the weaponry they had. They could have obviously bypassed it by going fast long or fast B, but you know, not <laughs> expecting a, an XM to go and get a three-piece down in con. Na'Vi, they're going to make a lot of money off that as well. Simple has 7k before buying and an AK. If he wants, he can continue to play it for at least another round where you know NIP or Eco, or he can drop it over by the orb and get that in nice and early. We might see it delayed until the next, though, because, of course, NIP just have pistols, and Na'Vi don't want to buy up an AWP and get one deeged and give that gun over, so staying with the rifles for now. NIP full D ground with nothing else. Oh my, that is something else. And that's probably why you don't want to, you know, spend all your money in this round if you're Na'Vi. Shots like that. We know NIP can fire off with these deagles. No, they don't have Lecker anymore, which is a shame when it comes to these, you know, pistol rounds. But, like, there's just so much talent. Res, Twist, and, well, Ploxy's already found that opener. 
And we know Orpers like pistols as well, so Nork might be naughty with his two. So the electronic on this top side. Simple's gone down lower, but he might need to rotate back up because NIP are grouping and grouping fast towards the toilets, looking to just run over this A bomb site. look to come in and do damage simple now repositioning onto the truck has electronic alongside him Ooh. And... Ooh. Oh, maybe nice. yeah, there's the lineup twist all alone 1v4 really fancy his odds here but now there is a buy coming in Yeah, nice couple of kills with the pistols, Popsky specifically, but uh, nothing all too interesting there for NIP. We're waiting for the gun rounds, and here they are. Simple on the AWP as well, right in with a bite. And he has to spawn too. Certainly a fan of that one as he goes aggressively towards middle. Electronic alongside him takes connector, but NIP want a bit of faster control here. They'll molly it off, not letting Electronic take that deep fight. Nate does do some damage. Simple's hanging around the divider, and Na'Vi are going to choose to give up this stairwell away. Moving back and letting the AWP find opening kills here. Ooh, there's a jump. Simple. Late shot won't connect. He has to fall back now. The Molotov's going to push him off of the divider, and NIP going about their business, taking the map control as they should. This is a nice default. They've got B short. They own the toilets. They haven't cleared long yet, and Electronic, you know, he's able to come in on these wraps if that is not cleared for NIP. But they're going to look to do that right now. Twist moving into position and actually reconsidering. The bomb is outside of B. So NIP, it's not the end of the world if they don't get electronic out of here. They've at least pushed Simple back. They need to keep him on A so they can rotate down lower and go into this three-man setup. Is that If that is a three-man setup and Simple in heaven with the orb, that's a real problem for Na'Vi. Simple dropping a short smoke or a monster smoke rather from the A site. And that's going to throw another 15 seconds out of the hands of NIP. Not much they can do. And that, that 15 seconds, that's huge for Na'Vi because they just sit back. They realize nothing's going on outside of A and NIP are likely grouping B. They don't want to over-rotate because they have no info on that top site other than electronic on long. But NIP are about to first B and Na'Vi will have those quick rotations. Oh, Boomich gets deleted. Now more than ever, we need to see these rotations coming on through. Perfecto's trying to hold the line as best he can, but only good for one. And Simple arriving a little late to the party is still here backing Graffiti. He's got to look to do some artwork of his own. Pent rushes out. An electronic in from heaven. Going to put up another. So we're into this two on two. Pretty picture here for Na'Vi. Plopsky and Nork. Two players that remain, wondering where on earth the rest of the team went. Ooh. This crossfire set up. And Plopsky's been spotted, but not dealt with yet. There's very little time left on this bomb. So Na'Vi, they've got to pick up the pace and they deal with Plopsky. Now just Nork left to beat. Simple's on the angle. And it's a 2v4 for Electronic and Simple. That is a great sign for me that this Na'Vi squad is stumbling back to its feet after what felt like a, a little hiatus from the high-flying performances of these two individuals. That's a bit of a vintage simple and electronic yeah. clutch. The, the deadly duo. We know it. We love it. And we wear it. It's going to be a nice around for Na'Vi. And yeah, okay, they may have dropped to ends yesterday, but at least, you know, looking at the numbers alone, electronic and simple still performed. Obviously, simple was top of the server, but, uh, you know, it's not always just coming down to the numbers here as... IP are realizing they may find a lot of opening kills and get control of B, but a two on four retake, oof. And IP very keen to take those gunfights, not winning enough of them to justify it. Boomich leaving connector in this round, a triple A setup. And NIP, this is a interesting round because they've got double B with a bomb, a third joining them. They're clearing con. But coming out into middle with no support from the mid area is a bit of a risk. So NIP is just going to be safer to burst B short and commit into this site. This is going to be an early execute. They're not going to wait this uh, down to the final 30 seconds this time. But with time on the clock, Na'Vi are starting to get curious. Push through the smoke. NIP is just running at it. Molotov is down. Nork's going to clear the site. He gets a first opener looking for a second. Do they get this in the bomb pot? That's it for the NIP. They should have this round under lock and key. And Na'Vi want nothing to do with it. Abandoning the bomb site. Simple saves the orb, and they'll give NIP their first.
certainly helps the NIP get out with Five Alive as well, right? Nothing worse than winning your first rifle round and, and winning in a one-on-one -on -one clutch and then getting out with, you know, just 3,400 a player or 3,500 a player, barely enough to buy full, not really even enough to buy, you know, AK armor. And, well, NIP, they're going to get out with everyone. So money to fall back on if things do hit the fan. And they certainly could with Na'Vi reinvesting right into this fifth round or sixth round, rather. Betway might want to update that advert with Letcro in it. I mean, I guess he's still signed to Nip, right? So maybe not. Always a thought. Yeah, and IP, they're going to try and repeat these, the success down here towards this B-bomb site. And now grouping up, ready to head on in. It's crossfire not assembled in time. And Effective and Flamey falling once again. This B site, a bit of a problem now for Na'Vi. Boomich, electronic, and simple. Left oh. in the uh, no. in the hot seat right now. And Boomich always finding a double through the corner of that smoke. He is getting wrapped on the left side. And that flash is good to maybe allow a kill to come in from Hampus. But... Actually, Nork, sorry, up close. Dealing with Boomich. Electronic hidden in the site. Little nasty surprise at the center of this one. Electronic trying to deal yet yeah, another jawbreaker as he falls back into the pit. Has this cover from Simple Acrofiti. NIP, it's grinded to a halt and a nice flick from Electronic. Hampus does damage onto Simple, but not enough to find the kill. And if you poke the bear, that just makes him more angry. Simple oh my. actually leaves it to Electronic to find that fifth round on the board for Na'Vi. Once again, the dynamic duo doing it all. They're 19 and two between the two of them. Wow, that's just unreal. Like, again, you know, fast trade, successful for NIP. I don't think Na'Vi were expecting such a quick execute. They get caught off setting up outside Monster. And Electronic, he just remains, he just stays at the back of the site. No one checks him. And he gets away with far more than he should. Three in the round, 10 and one. Ugh, how do you even defeat that if you're NIP? Well, at least they have another buy round off the back of that previous five alive, as said. Back to A as well. They've not really had a lot of success here. Worth noting, the B rush that worked out for NIP two rounds ago was the round where Na'Vi had three on A. And the second NIP got two kills with no trades, Na'Vi just threw in the towel and went, yeah, you can have the round. But this time, Na'Vi had three on the lower bomb site, and they were at least able to put up enough of a defense to stop that plant. In this round, that's the same. Again, three lower. Electronic with a bait and switch on long with Simple's AWP. Electronic, he's getting hungry. He's getting angry. Ooh, and he's going to get bullets to the base. Luckily, dinged through the tree. So he will live to fight another day, down to 29. Simple's going to support him and deny a repeat for NIP. You'll notice Boomich has come up as well. So heavy setup on this top site for good reason. NIP are all surrounding it. Only Nork down lower, who can sell a bit of a fake later, or just hold this control so that NIP can rotate down the connector if needed. But right now, they're just trying to be silent on this A site. Question is for Nork, does he does he go before or does he go after? Is he a backstab or is he selling a fake? Looks like he is going to hit it at the same time. Right through Monster, trying to be the first point of contact here. Na'Vi are going to see it, but do they rotate off of A? Right now, still stacked with three on this top site. Oh, Electronic getting caught. Popsky with the entry. Double kills up for Nip, but simple. Quick with the shot. And with Nork down at this B site, there's a temporary three-on-three three inside of A for Na'Vi on this retake. Not that they're to know that, though. They are looking curious as to what this site has in store, but without this heavy duo of uh, Simple and Electronic still standing, is that going to be enough to tempt Na'Vi in? Half the time ticked off the bomb now, and still floating around. They try and wide swing, and they do pick up Plopski, but this is already looking like the save for Na'Vi. Now, as they go back down towards this B site, Nork has been here the whole time to try and deny these trades. They've spotted him now, and they know he's here. Oh, I like that new icon in the kill feed as well. Just keep adding to it. Flamey dice to the bomb. Nork dropped by a Perfecto. The exits aren't really there for Na'Vi, but they certainly are for NIP, converting a top site round with a nice double opener and then denying really all, almost all the saves on that lower site as well. So Na'Vi's money finally getting drawn into question in this game. Simple does buy up the AWP, has just enough for it. I 
Actually, I think it got dropped over, rather. Either way. Hampus clearing cons silently. Electronic is here tucked as well, so... It's going to come down to whether NIP check this corner. Oh, they'll do more than that. They'll molly him out as well. Electronic, how does he take one down with him? Tries to escape the flames, but Plopsky will just let him roast in the fire. NIP looking to execute B off the back of that connector control. Navi are rotating up because of it, and that's the wrong read to make. Only two on Monster. Is this going to be enough to hold down the Swedes? At the very least, it slowed them down and made them maybe reconsider this. However, with no map control anywhere else on the map for NIP, they're, they're kind of forced into this B play. And right now, it might not necessarily be the worst idea, right? With two players here in Perfecto and Flamey, and these rotations being a little ways away from Boonich and Simple, this is the right place to find Ooh. yourself. However, on the receiving end of Flamey's MP9, not where you want to find yourself anytime soon. And Perfecto's going to finish off the man at short. Leaves it all onto Twist. And the flashes are just perfect from Na'Vi. Every one of those peaks met with a stellar little pop flash to set Flamey up. Six on the board now for Na'Vi on NIP's map pick. Yeah, worth noting yesterday it was said that the, the Hampers was somewhat calling Lecro's game on, on Vertigo. And I, I you know, obviously that didn't really work, right? They got smacked. But yeah, I, I wonder about that, right? Because NIP, they were really, really good with Lecro on this map. This was this was excellent overpass for, uh, for Nip. Like they were taking over uh, some really, really good... Um, uh, sorry, overpass teams, such as Astralis, for example. Like, a couple of times, in fact. So, you know, with a new in-game leader, how much is there to learn? Is he calling the same setups? And if so, I, I, I don't even know if I like that, right? Unless Threat is, like, completely commanding the in-game leading, or at least telling telling Hampers how he should call. But at that point, why don't you bring in another in-game leader? There's just so many questions for NIP, and I never know what to make of it. And again, I think we need some time for this team, which really doesn't bode well, considering they made this roster change, you know, coming into this tournament. So, doesn't really give them a whole lot of time, but got to make do with what they've got. Out mid they go as a five-man unit here. It's a low economy round for NIP. Oh, Simple, given a chance. Doesn't actually find that shot there. Not Ooh. the second time around either. Uh -oh. Simple, they are getting closer with every missed oh, shot. No. They get closer and closer. He hits that one, not the second. Oh, no, a little <laughs> flick, little, little 360 from Simple. Uh, that's an AWP given over, though, and an AK retrieved on Plopsky. Suddenly, this buy feels pretty formidable. I say buy, right? Suddenly, these weapons that have been scavenged in this partial buy round feel pretty formidable on the NIP side. And there's a good chance they could continue to find damage here. Into this three-on-three, three, stacking up over at long. They're going to send Nork back into mid just to reroute and try and keep an eye on any of these potential flanks. Well, there's no one there for Na'Vi. We know that, but NIP don't. And now they're just going to sit and wait. If Na'Vi try and go for any information plays, which is exactly what NIP want, that's where oh. this AWP is going to strike one from the tally and with it. <laughs> Mount advantage given over to NIP. Yeah, he was holding such a tight gap that the flash didn't affect Twist. And Boomish dies trying to get that info. Flamey, nice shot. Finds Nork. Knows there's at least one more at long, but that's all the info he has. And Perfecto is taking his sweet time with this rotation. He's not even choosing to do it as well, just in case NIP go back. But why would they go back? They are fully indebted, fully committed to this bomb site, even out. And Flamey, he's going to get checked here, you would imagine. His gun sticking out, but he gets a drop on Plopsky. 10 seconds for this plant, and Twist does get the trade. Is he ready to plant? Is he going to get it down in time? Perfecto's running from CT, and Twist knows it. He's got five seconds, and that's just enough, but it will give a room for Perfecto to get out onto the truck he has. Actually going to recommit inside of the smoke. Twist doesn't realize. Now he's looking at the left side. That gives the room for Perfecto to move. And Twist backs up to play the bomb. Smart move. Perfecto going to realize that he's likely left the site. But he doesn't know for sure. Oh, Twist. What a round. Four kills in it. And he's gone full on Boeing at the 747 scoreline. NIP going to put that third round up on the board. And the AWP worth its weight in gold. 
Yeah, and simple committing to those shots along now really doesn't feel worth it, right? With how that AWP is, is the one gun that actually wins the round for an IP. Simple knows that, like, you know, if you're in that position, you can take a couple of shots, but then you've got to run. And he just decides, all right, I'm going to commit. And, and that would be fine if he gets, you know, two, three kills. But Simple only gets one because he whiffs a few shots, unlike him to see. And now the money is the problem for Na'Vi. Simple's put down to an M4. At least armed and dangerous. Electronic, also dangerous, but less armed. 5-7 is all he can muster. And Na'Vi don't really have a lot of weaponry in, in this round. If they lose it, they're going to get broken. Uh, that can give NIP the route back into this T side. May have been a slow start, but they can certainly pick up the pace off the back of this victory. Well, the 1M4 that is in play in this round is on the back of Simple holding onto this position, but Oof. he gets deleted. He does land a dink onto Rez. Sadly, the AK wins that one. And now the man, t the man advantage taken for NIP. They're stacking up outside of A. Got to check the cubby for an electronic hiding himself in this position. How well, they do it. 5-7 with a banana on it. Oh, Ooh, he lines up the double there. It's a collateral with the 5-7. No. Boomich comes in with his big old deagle, flopping it around, and he gets that kill. Now Nork trying to regain control of the bomb, but Electronic, who's already been a nuisance, is here, and he does get mopped up, but this has allowed the, for the rotations to come back through for Na'Vi, and Flamey with his MP9 almost doing wow. enough. It's finished off by Perfecto. The pistols, they do it for the Na'Vi side. Seven on the board and give NIP a bit of a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, if NIP win that round, which they should, they would they would completely roll Na'Vi in the, in the follow-up and, and likely just go up to like five, six rounds on this T side you know, for free. Now their work is really cut out for them because we're 10 rounds deep and they have three to their name. Na'Vi recovering their economy with a big force by victory and breaking NIPs in the process. They're going to bite because they've got a little bit and on twist a lot another orb nork on the rifle and i think that's the last ak they're gonna have here it's surrounded by pistols rez was the second highest rated overpass player in the top 50 in 2019 zaiwu was top i'd imagine that would hold true on more map than one but damn rez right now four and eight waiting for him to warm into this game no orb here for navi they don't quite have the funds so back to full rifles. If I say that, actually, sorry, still, still two MP9s. The quick smoke in mid for NIP. They will extinguish the Molotov to take control. Simple hears that smoke go down, and he's going to back up, knowing that NIP have sped up the pace towards middle. And he put a stop to it. I like how much NIP are believing in Twist after his hot shot round just a few ago with this orb. So let's see if putting this faith in him again was the right call to make. Pretty much going to get the information that he's posted up over at Long. And so Na'Vi, they've at least seen this AWP. They know that it's in play. Not creeping up close. The AK is a bit of an unknown entity. And Boomich still tucked back in the site. Has called for a rotation Whoa. up from B. That's Perfecto making his way up now. Something else to bear in mind is that Flamey is pushing the extremities of this B site. He'll get the information that it's clear. And while all this is going on, Electronic is very, very deep within the connector. But this isn't really a position that's going to benefit Na'Vi very much. He's going to come in a little bit late, if anything, on this wrap round. So if these guys in the site can oh, hold the fort... Maybe Electronic can get something done, but he's got to pick up the pace. He's got to get stuck into this round here and now. And NIP, they've hit the go button. They start to pick up the pace. You have to get past Simple first if you want to get into this site. And Flopsky's up to the task. Rez going to dig down another, but he's the only man left standing. And now Electronic's flank. Well, now it feels valuable. Coming up late through short. He'll delete Rez. Or can be retrieved, and indeed it is. As an eighth round appears on the board at four Na'Vi. The early value of Electronic's position there is the fact that, you know, Na'Vi can rotate 
five up towards A, and they know it can't be B. That's because the only positions NIP can rotate through are Connector, where Electronic is, or T-Spawn. And even though Electronic can't see T-Spawn, he knows that NIP will run if they want to go that way. They're not going to sneak from mid to T-Spawn to B. They're going to run that bit. So Electronic would have had the audio. And, and because of him being in that position, he can tell Na'Vi to stack A. And that's a great bit of information gained for Na'Vi. So actually really worth it. Uh, now a B rush with the pistols. Only Tex and Deegs. Uh, they get made quick work on Perfecto. He hears the man down lower. And while he'll die, he'll get traded. Denied the ace, unfortunately, by Nork. But still around for Na'Vi that they will take under their wing. And yeah, they just had good reads across this CT side. Nice bit of re-aggression when necessary. Not overstepping. Simple's looking good. Electronics looking better. And there's no weak link right now for Na'Vi. Boomich is 4 and 10, but I, I barely notice that right now because he's doing everything he needs to. Getting the assist, getting good utility as well. And NIP have got no answers, at least not yet. Three rounds left of the half and another buy round to make it happen. Oh, that's a kill. Okay. Take that. Oh, 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 oh no. round two. You... And this oh. time it's Electronic getting revenge. I can shoot through the wood too. I wouldn't take that fight back if I were an IP. I've run the hell away from that. Mate, honestly, I didn't think they were really trying to. Like, Hampus was firing shots back, but it's Plopsky who fell. He was just like an innocent bystander. <laughs> Civilian casualties. Oh, the play me a knock. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, what oh the no. How has it gone down like that? Poor knock. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, everything's gone wrong for NIP in this round, and it goes from bad to worse. Hampus, remember when you got that sick court, court kill through the wood? Well, we need to have kind of four more of them, and... We could warbang this player here. Do it. Hampus, do it. I dare you. Instead, he's going to elect to move in quietly. And I can't say I blame him. Ollie's going to force him forward. That air of quiet, that air of calm is out the window. And with it, so is this round for NIP. 10 on the board for the Na'Vi side. They reach double digits as they are laying waste to NIP here on their map pick. Yeah, on their map pick, that's the crucial wording, right? Nukes coming up next, and that's a map for NIP that's not been good. Three losses in a row, only two victories in this year over Vitality and Godsend. Uh, just generally a really, really good map for Na'Vi that they, they won Katowice on. So yeah, they are going to be feeling pretty good about that follow-up, but we're not out of the woods yet. Na'Vi still need to put the bow on they can find a 12-3, that would really lock NIP out of this half. NIP are playing for a full round half as well. They've got a, you know, a good investment here considering the money, but it's still no guns. It's only pistols and utils. So relying on that 15th round by Hampus and Co towards B short. NIP take that control nice and early, looking for another one of these B executes. They've had great util on B. Like we've seen Molly execute and a really good nade stacks for NIP, but the guns just aren't going to help them. The flashes will. Everyone is blind. Flamey gets a second chance to take one down, but he goes after that and Rez trades to pick up a gun. Boomit's going wide in the pit. Oh, he's dinked, and that's another weapon for NIP if they can hound him down. Electronic trying to cover, but they're coming in from the left side. Boomit can't see a thing. He somehow takes two, and Electronic the same. Three in the round, and he actually steals the kills out of the hand of Boomich. He'll take that every day though. Na'Vi locking down the B bomb site. Another anti-eco. NIP, no bomb plant either, but that won't prohibit them from buying in the last. I'm very relieved that Electronic is looking this good yeah. because, you know, man, like, I, I, you know, I'm not putting it all on him, but it's like, you know, we, we come to expect a lot from this duo of Simple and Electronic. And I think, you know, throughout the CIS road to Rio, they, they weren't really delivering in the fashion that we expect. And that's not to say that anyone on Na'Vi really was. So the fact that they're looking to recover here, they're looking this damn good, I think is a good sign of things to come for Na'Vi. And I'm very happy about that. Man advantage taken in this round once again. In spite of losing simple early on, they've been quick to get this one back in their favor. And now sitting in this four on three. NIP, they're, they're so scared, right? They've been pushed yeah. on seemingly every avenue of the map. So they're having to take all this time re-clearing these angles, getting back into middle, this area of the map that they should have in uh, in the majority of rounds. They've now spent a lot of time clearing. And this leaves them with a minute on the clock as they group back up over here outside of the A site. Now, right now, there is only one man here for Na'Vi. However, that man is electronic. So... I think that kind of speaks for itself. 
Yeah, not the dude I want to walk into, even if it is a solo site setup. And I don't think that will remain for long either. Boomish is in heaven, so he can play that fast rotate and come join. He's jump spotting B short. He sees nothing. Electronic. They might even just play retake here if you're Na'Vi, right? Last round of the half. Loads of flashes for the retake. Kits available. Man up. You know, depending how things go, right? If 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 not, if NIP push into the bank, Electronic can take those kills and that will spur him on to get aggressive, I'm sure. But right now, NIP, they should just be focusing on getting that bomb plant, clearing out positions like the truck. Smoke on the bank, Molly on the truck, plant on the site. Electronic can't do a thing, but that's fine. He was playing retake from the get-go. The grenade lands, a little bit of damage. And here come Na'Vi with the four on three. Flamey on the AWP as well. Could be a bit of a problem, but he's going to be the last man in. Ampers pushed, getting tagged. That will get heard. They should be ready for a bit of an aggressive player now. And he's going to get away with one. Trade immediately again from Electronic. And here come Na'Vi. And some Plopski. Can they keep this one? Now just Plopski actually in NIP's favor. 1v2, but he has mopped up Electronic. Now only Boomich left to deal with. Does have a kit, taps the bomb, tries to bait the peak from Plopski Ooh. and is able to lock it down. 12-3 at the end of the first half of play. Na'Vi with quite the... Stuff here for Nartis Vince here. 12-3 at the first half. And if those Betway odds weren't telling a picture of the start of the map, they certainly should be now. Considering this is NIP's map pick, they are down, but not yet out. Let's at least see what this pistol has in store for us for the ninjas as they buy up with three sets of Kevlar, a kit, and a good bit of utility. Red's going to take a fight in middle. Risky one because considering the lack of armor, an immediate tag will send him packing. And he's down to 70 off the back of that bullet. So Glocks, they do hurt only on armorless players though. Otherwise that would be like six damage. It's Rez, not the most lucky, but at least gets the information that Na'Vi are moving through middle. Right now he is solo on A. This grenade could be a great value to throw into the toilets and to even back up and play retake and, and throw it on the default box, right? We see teams do that as well, but you don't want to play five and five retake pistol. That's not too standard here. You want to at least try and, you know, force some kills here early if you're res and set an IP up for success. Arvi are moving in closer to the site as we speak. One man on long, the rest on the short side. And res has not enough information to call for a full rotate, but that's about to change. Nade finds a little bit of chip damage spread thinly across most of Na'Vi. He's not able to connect the shot just yet, and he is slowly but surely getting pressured. His teammate in the site is gone. Rez trying to hold the long corner does not fare well. Spam from Plopski with the USP to remove Boomage. So into a three on three on the back of it. But there's still this terrifying man going by the name of Electronic inside of the site. Oh, Ooh, nice shot there to find one. Oh, what? and a follow up. He doesn't even have armor while this is going on. He is fighting naked, bare knuckle box boxing inside of this site. And Plopski, the kit's stuck. 1v3, oh. the kit is stuck. And he does manage to get it. Deals with Electronic, but still two players left to find. Lots of pressure Ooh. on Plopski, but a nice response and simple. Not a man oh, who's yeah. going to over peak oh, you. Yeah. He's on the deep use. He's spinning around. around, spin to win, baby. And simple, can't <laughs> connect the shot in time. The deep use goes the way of NIP, oh. even though simple does deliver that kill just moments too late. Look at that. Stella around from Plopski, yeah. man. What a gangster. I love this spin as well. He just, he gets right on the bomb. He's not even like doing 360s, Harry. He's just going left, right, left, right, left, right. And well, it will work wonders. All he's trying to do there is move his head hitbox so much a simple can't connect it, right? Simple's therefore his only way of winning that fight is by spamming the body. And we know how inaccurate those pistols can get after just a couple of shots leaving the chamber. So yeah, simple. The kill comes, but it comes a second too late. And NIP, they will save that pistol round that they never should have won after Electronics Heroics. Navi, a hero AK, it's on the back of this one man, and he's going to go into B, not committing as the smoke lands. Electronic is fighting for the bomb right now with the PC-50. It didn't get spotted, though. If it did, Twist might have pushed this and tried to take this position because an armorless Electronic and the bomb at his feet, that would have been a great uh, setup for NIP, but safe decision to just give it away fall back you know you have the advantage anyway if you're sweet if you're the swedes here and navi are pretty much just relying on simple so you know day in and the office electronic not only is he fragging high in supply but he's being a great teammate he's dropped the ak mm. over to simple in this round what a guy considering he's 25 and 7 as well yeah it's, it's right? you know the yeah. navi classic even when they give the gun to simple it's not the guy who's first on the board but obviously right like it's simple 
Yeah, that's uh, that's what we call uh, a bad Mimi. Now, down here, Twist holding on, but only briefly. He's let go. His grip has lessened, and now it is faulted completely. This they say. Not going to be the object of desire for Na'Vi, but this Famas on res just being a nuisance. Simple doesn't like nuisances, and oh. so actually, he's taken this whole round by storm. This one AK finding three allows the bomb plant. Does immediately get dealt with by Ooh. Plopski, but Flamey's in with the response. Now, doesn't have armor, and up against the MP9, that could make all the difference. The aim punch could send Flamey out of this round. He's able to reposition, nice. gets the shot wow. up, and lands the first bullet. That's what he needed to do. 13 on the board for Na'Vi. The hero AK by thrown into the hands of Simple. Blessed by Electronic finds three kills to make that round happen. That's incredible. I mean, off the back of just two men, Flamey with a one tap onto the truck player as well. And he perfectly predicts that peak coming through from the MP9. Na'Vi, man, that was an eco. That was one AK. And they're going to get it over the line. Feels like there's no round this team can't win. Double scouts for NIP. That's what they're relying on in this round. It will tag Simple and Electronic, actually. Pretty good damage, if you ask me. And the nade even puts further. But yet to see a kill here from the ninjas. And Navi might just avoid these scouts by going right into B. If Flamey gets opening kills here, the bomb can just follow. So Flash is good. He's going to send Popsky to the barrel. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Flamey got to watch out for that one. The Deagle does bite back as the Molotov is going to trap Popsky until he smokes it off. This is just a game of cat and mouse for Na'Vi. Now the grenades are going to rain in double artillery and it still doesn't kill him. Put your ones in chat because Plopsky is still standing, but not for much longer, you'd think. I mean, they don't have any more nades. There's a Molotov on Electronic, but he is uh, he's all the way over in middle. So unless he knows some sick lineup I've never seen before, he ain't <laughs> Molotov in barrels anytime soon. Na'Vi still committed to this B play. The response is in from an IP. We've got three players here and a fast rotate is. of Hampus down into the connector. Boomich says, guys, I don't even know what you were making out like it was so hard. I just walked in and shot him. But yeah, it's worked. It's gotten the job done. RV, they get a bit of a foothold. That scout from heaven does represent a bit of danger. The more damage Rez can do with it, the more valuable oh, players like yeah. Yorke become with his Deagle. Electronic, when did he get two? When did the second kill come in? He just shuts it all down, and that round gets put back under control for Na'Vi. Electronic is like on, on another level yeah. right now. This is scary. It's a nice play for Nork, but I actually like what Na'Vi do prior to the plant there. Obviously, it's a bit of a problem with the cover not coming through uh, until after for trades for Electronic, but Na'Vi stop on the site. After they get like uh, pick on Plopsky, they don't rush because they don't know where the NIP is stacked. And if they rush, they could get overwhelmed, right, while moving and, and not being accurate. So Na'Vi just stands still. They wait for that next kill to go their way. Nothing appears, so that's they go for the plant and Nork surprises them. But Electronic, he was watching the back. He comes in late and he shuts him down. Plus another from the short side with that wall bank transfer. Dirty stuff for Na'Vi. What's this from Simple? Bit of a toilet smoke, perhaps? Yeah, I like that one. Good, Rez. Oh, dude, he doesn't even get to play. Oh, maybe he does. Gets a peek, gets a shot, but we'll finally connect one. Looking for a double and Simple denies it. Ooh, that got scary for a second. Almost deleted through the tree. Navi in a four on four here up against the pistols, looking for map point on NIP's pick. Ah, oh, simple you. You genius. He's juggled that AK out the map. That's irretrievable now for the uh, the side of NIP. And that's a nice way to kind of mitigate the damage on the back of losing a man early on. Your worry here is like you don't want to put a gun into the hands of NIP. You know, Simple and Co. learned that the hard way when they gifted him the AWP earlier on in this game. And so with that removed, now you're into a 4-4 four and four and you're feeling good about this with your Na'Vi. You know, you know that the CTs are the ones that are going to feel more pressured. They're going to have to take more gambles. And likelihood is you're walking into a favorable fight no matter where you go. And that is the story of this B site right now. Only two players here. There are more in rotation. Down through the connect, the North is on his way. This bomb plant has to come in. Nork is suddenly left as the only man standing. Not going to be able to deny the plant, but a 1v2, not impossible for Nork and his deadly deed. There's an AK there that can get retrieved. However, will he be ready for a player close in the water? There's the peak. Missed shot from Boomich, but he's allowed to reposition. He's given some time here. 
And while all this has gone on, Simple now up in heaven will seal the deal. Immediately trades that kill. 15 on the board for Na'Vi. Uh, and this is the Na'Vi I've wanted to see all 2020, man. Yeah. Like back in full force. Since we went online, we did notice a bit of a dip, which I think we all expected from Na'Vi. Mm -hmm. You know, they hadn't played an online game since, what, 2018? 18. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's taken them some time, but they're finding their footing here, and they're really bringing it to NIP on their map pick. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine what they got in store for Nuke, right? Considering that's not necessarily a great map for NIP, but Overpass usually is. And right now they are getting torn to pieces. Orp continues for Simple. We barely got guns for NIP and, oh, a team kill. That's certainly not going to make things easier, but still NIP are favored in this round somehow as a result. Uh, well, I say that actually. I guess they're favored in terms of the, the players alive, but if you look at the health from those two guns, it doesn't look like a pretty picture. Na'Vi... Still very much in control of this round. Waiting for NIP to give them anything, and Twist certainly may, but it's come at an unfortunate timing for Na'Vi, who have just left this position. Simple is watching it, but he won't hang around. He's going to go join his team for this B-Execute into the stack, into the three players who aren't on this flank. Boomish got the spot. He's got the tap, but Red survives on six. Boomish, oh, he gets overwhelmed. That's the SMG in range, finding a kill. And the Molotov doesn't burn out the player of barrels. Again, they live to fight. And Twist comes in on that flank and drops the low electronic. Nice tag from Simple. One HP for Twist. Twist, Na'Vi, they love doing damage. They don't love getting the kills. And NIP, they're going to win that eco. I really don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a nice aggressive play from Twist to net himself a couple and get in the back line of Na'Vi. Despite the team kill, NIP pick up the round. Na'Vi just going to take an eco in this round, right? They've got so much room to play with that they're not worried yet. And so they want to focus on bringing out guns as fast as they can. The one man who has bought off in this round is Simple. He's just throwing a complete investment in. Na'Vi working their way through the connector. About to explode into top mid. Rez hasn't seen quite how many enemies lie on the other side. But this orb of twist back in the site to help out. Doing damage at range, Rez holding down the angle. There's not much danger left in this round for Na'Vi to put up. So there should be a sixth on the board. This uh, this anti-eco swept under the rug nice and quickly for NIP before the rifles come back out in the next round on this <laughs> Na'Vi side. But all right, Simple, okay. come on then. Prove me wrong. 1v4, unable to connect that shot and does get dropped. Six for the sweep. Feels like he can't go out of a round without showing us something flashy, right? Like. Yeah, I know. I know I'm going to lose this one on five, guys, but look at this. Simple, always showboating. RV. A round away from a victory on NIP's pick, and Simple's on a deagle in this round, but honestly, not even a problem. AWP for Rez is going to take the mid fight, misses the shot on the crossing players, and so RV are going to get control towards the playground, having to smoke that molly. Electronic is tanked by it, but it's fine for Na'Vi. They can continue to move up into this A-bomb site. They have so many rounds to play around with, to, to come up with an idea, to test the boundary, see what they can get away with from NIP. Nine in a row we're going to need from this point onwards for the Swedes. And that's only to begin the clock again. That's only to get us into overtime. Electronic, yeah, I like that. Gets tagged, gets the Deagle, gives the AK to Simple. It's not like Electronic is going to be hamstring much with a Deagle, right? He's still very, very able to use this weapon too. So Na'Vi are feeling fine as they move closer towards A. The bomb's outside of T-Spawn and players are taking B short here for Na'Vi. So they might just come down the connector and regroup on this lower site later. NIP have three on A right now and we'll see if that comes back to haunt them. Boomich, the bomb boy. He'll go back and retrieve it. And actually... Joins Na'Vi outside of this A site, leaving Perfecto and Flamey holding on to B right now. And there might be some aggression that they find. There's also some aggression from Rez here up against Electronic. Now setting up for an A site play in the final 20 seconds of this round. Na'Vi, they've got to go fast. And they've really got to get stuck in. If these kills don't pre present themselves, things could get out of hand very, very quickly. Res and Twist, two kills between them. That bomb dropped, and this round is already over for Na'Vi. There's no time to get anything done. And now they run the risk of going down after time as well. 
Oh, Electronic gets found through the wall. I don't know if that was after time or what. No. No, it's fine. And that's actually, for Electronic, that's kind of great. He only had a Deagle and armor. So if he survived, and he was on zero dollars, right? So, yeah. if, so if he survives there, that's kind of heartbreaking. Uh, you know, you, you would have to force buy around a Deagle and an AK. But now you could take this Eco. You'd likely give over an eighth to NIP. But then you've got that full investment looming. And so another eco here for Na'Vi, a round for NIP to continue to build, but, you know, not necessarily money, more confidence. Uh, you know, they're not really facing any ecos in this game. One loss and it's done. Boosting Khan to try and find a Nork here. Oh, he hears the jump. He should know about this, but Simple can't see him from this position. It's to spot B short, the, the entrance rather. You can see nothing's really available here for Na'Vi. They don't know about a pushed player either, so always that to worry about if they want to go late B here. But right now, Navi again infatuated with this A site, and they're going to commit here as Rez sits back on long. Flamey with the AK swinging, he gets the kill. That's a big open up for Navi. We've already seen them win a, win a round early in this half, which is that hero AK on Simple, and Flamey getting two as well. Simple drop though in this round. There's the flank. Nort gives away his position, finds nothing for it. Bit of a problem here as now Navi turn around, trying to deal with him. They don't. Nort doubles down the dig out. Oh, Perfecto can't hit his shot. And it's going to be not, uh, NIP again cleaning up Na'Vi's pistols. That looked like it could have gone very badly for Nor. He recovers well after that missed shot. NIP starting to grind their way back into this. Simple shoots the light. <laughs> I think he thought it was ahead. Ooh, here's the man spamming through. And finally, Na'Vi, there's a chance that they could get offered one of these early kills that they've been sitting back and waiting for. Electronic here, looking at long and lying in wait on the other side is Rez. If he goes any further forward, he could go down. Hampus is also going to push short. Now, Na'Vi... They, they, they've been waiting in every one of these rounds for a kill to present itself. But something that Nip have been good at doing is just tucking back and playing in the bomb sites. Well, in this round here and now, they finally try and re-aggress and Hampus falls. But Rez, with his aggression out through long, actually comes out on top of that duel up against Electronic. So we're back into this four on four. NIP, they've dealt with the danger in this round well initially, but it's got to keep up if they want to keep this comeback alive. Simple. Molly to force the engagement oh, and somehow, bye bye. some way, he has opened up this B site single handedly. Simple has carved a path into B and maybe a path to victory on the back of it. Twist going to try and play around this smoke, but Simple is hounding him down and he will get the better of Twist. Simple is on for the ace to secure the victory here for Na'Vi. Rez, the last man standing at this point, maybe just playing to deny the ace to Simple. A 1v4 is a very tall order indeed. And Rez now rounding the corner into the site. Simple, come on, get it. Oh!